Hey, I'm Alec, and today in 3D Printing Troubleshooting Guide, we're gonna talk about pillowing. First off, if you're a fan of the 3D Printing Troubleshooting Guide series, be sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the other tips and tricks I will be providing in those videos. And don't forget, you can check out the previous Troubleshooting Guide video right there. So first off, let me explain what pillowing is. So if you have a part with a very large and flat top surface, you may see that sometimes you have a like pillow or quilted effect where you have the infill showing through the top of the print. So rather than sticking out through the sides where you can see like veins in your part, in the top you can see there's a good bumpy pattern that's exactly representative of the infill that's below your top layers. And there's a couple different causes for this. You can either have insufficient cooling, which is causing the filament to warp away from the infill up towards the nozzle, then it cools there and that's how you get that effect because it's getting tight and sticking over the infill but warping away over the voids, or your layer cooling fan isn't strong enough, you need to print slower, you need more top solid layers. There's a bunch of different things you can do to solve it and we'll get into that now. So the first thing you're gonna wanna try is adding more top layers because the top layers are what influence that pillowing effect. So the more top layers you have, the more chances for your printer to cover over that. So even if you have pillowing after the third top layer, having a fourth and a fifth go over the top, that may be enough to just kind of melt away the pillowing that was there before. Whereas if you have just three, well, you're stuck, you got the pillowing left behind. Second thing you can do is you can increase your infill density. So if you're printing at zero, five, or even 10% infill, that's where you're gonna to start to notice pillowing if it's a problem that your printer has. Some printers deal with it just fine at 5%, others will struggle. So in those cases, you may want to try increasing your infill to 15, 20, or even 30%, or you can go back and just do top layers. Top layers is a little less intense on the filament usage, it just depends on what you need out of your part. You can also try lowering the print speed for your top solid layers, because what you're trying to do is give the, those top solid layers more time to cool off before they start peeling away. Now it's not reducing your layer adhesion when I say peeling away, I'm just talking about how it will warp away and form that pillow on top. So giving it more time will just give you a better chance of reducing that pillowing effect. Now the last option is a bit more drastic because it will require modification of your printer. Now some printers, even if they come with a layer cooling fan, may not be well optimized where it's just kind of blowing air towards the front and not really towards the back, and that's where you can see more pillowing. So you may need to either print a better layer cooling duct where it has the airflow directed all the way around the nozzle or just more directed at the part instead of just like at the heater block, which I've seen sometimes or you may need a new layer cooling fan altogether. I hope the tips and tricks I provide in this video has helped you solve your issue of pillowing on your 3D printed parts. If however, this specific issue isn't the one you're having, check out our 3D printing troubleshooting guide playlist on our channel. Or you can give us a call or email us at support at matterhackers.com for an actual person to help troubleshoot your specific issue. Stay tuned for more videos in this 3D printing troubleshooting guide series and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you like that, give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all the big builds, how to's and troubleshooting guides I'll be working on. And don't forget, check out matterhackers.com to explore everything 3D printing and to join the community.